Nuvolet and Kazuha are returning in patch 4.5 in the second half together with Chiori and Ito in the first half. While both Chiori and Ito are honestly easy skips because they aren't too amazing, Nuvolet and Kazuha are characters that define their own elements. Nuvolet is an easy to use, amazing hydro damage dealer that is able to defeat enemies extremely quickly, be it single or multiple targets. Kazuha is an amazing animal support, capable of increasing the elemental damage of teammates while also providing crowd control against smaller enemies. If you had the Primo Gems, I would tell you to get both of them and also get Alkino, but not everyone has that many Primo Gems. So, let me share more about each character's pros and cons so that you can make a better decision on who to pull for. Let's first talk about Nuvolet. Nuvolet is a Hydro DPS that mainly deals damage using charged attacks. When he absorbs 3 source water droplets, he will unleash a Hydro Pump at the enemy immediately without having to charge. These droplets can be produced through hitting an enemy with his elemental skill and burst. When you create up to 3 different types of Hydro related reactions with him, his charge attack damage also increases as well. For Nuvolet's pros, firstly, he can deal high amounts of Hydro damage easily. All you have to do is use both his elemental skill and burst and he's ready to launch his charge attacks. These charge attacks also deal very high damage which allow you to defeat the enemy very easily. Just take a look here. Secondly, given that he's of the Hydro element, it makes him very versatile and can be paired with multiple characters since Hydro has the most useful reactions in the game. For example, you can put him on a Dendro team for Hyper Bloom. Freeze team for the freeze reactions. Or even with Pyro teammates for vaporized reactions. As for his cons, firstly, his C0 does somewhat limit his team comms as to get the highest damage from his charge attacks, you would preferably pair him with 3 other characters of other elements so that you can get 3 different types of Hydro related reactions. Having 2 characters of the same element will end up lowering the overall damage he can deal. Secondly, it is highly recommended to get a shielder for him as he can get interrupted easily during his charge attack. The issue is that it will stop his attack and if you have no more droplets on the field, you have to resort to a long charging animation or wait for his cooldowns to deal damage again. Third, which is related to the previous point, is that Nuvolet needs source water droplets for a fast charging animation. As such, your rotations will need to be correct to make sure that you either have your burst and skills up or already have droplets on the field. For example, if your burst is up, you wouldn't want to use your skill first as you lose the hydro particles for the energy for your burst. You also wouldn't want to use your skill or burst too early or together as the droplets will disappear after some time. If neither your skill or burst are up, you have to resort to the long charging animation. Before we continue to talk about patch 4.5's characters, I would like to say a huge thank you to everyone for helping us to reach 5,000 subscribers. If you liked the video so far as well, it would be great if you can give the video a like and subscribe to help us to get to our next goal of 10,000. Thank you so much! Let's talk about Kazuha next. Kazuha is an amazing animal support that can crowd control enemies and group them with its elemental skill so as for your DPS characters to defeat them more easily. 
his elemental burst swirls elements and increases the elemental damage of characters based on the element swirled in the vortex. If you equip him with the Veridescent Venera Artifact set, he can also reduce the enemy's elemental resistance based on the element swirled. Next, for Kazuha's pros. Firstly, he will boost the damage of a team through decreasing the enemy's elemental resistance and also increasing your team's elemental damage. This can be valuable as damage can only be increased so much by elemental reactions and crit rate or crit damage. Kaza provides that extra multiplier to give you the increased damage. Secondly, Kaza also provides very easy crop control with the simple press or hold of his elemental skill. Compared to Venti, who requires his burst to be up, Kaza only needs his elemental skill that has a quick cooldown to do so, which makes it a lot easier and user-friendly to use. For Kazuha's cons, he's only beneficial for Pyro, Cryo, Hydro, and Electro characters whose elements can be swirled. What this means is that characters from the Dendro, Animal, and Geo elements will not be able to benefit from this buff. Moreover, the swirling is rather complicated and you need the right team rotations to ensure that your team gets the right buff. For example, in this case, as I use Ayato first, Hydro is being swirled and buffed instead of Ayaka's cryo, which should be the main element that you would want buffed. Secondly, Kazuha's crowd control is not as strong as Venti's. Although Kazuha is easier to use, his crowd control is a lot less powerful, which sometimes doesn't suck or immobilize the enemy. Which could mean that not every enemy gets grouped, which could affect your overall damage output. Finally, Kazuha's damage buffing capability can also be taken up by the 4-star Sucrose at times, who also has a similar kit with an elemental burst, which could make him less of a must to get, especially if you have a C6 Sucrose. So, should you pull for Nuvalet or Kazuha? That really depends on the characters that you already have. If you need a strong Hydro DPS, I would say go for Nuvalet. Even though he does have some cons, his pros strongly outweigh his cons that make him a very safe pull. If you need a damage buffing support for your Cryo, Hydro, Pyro or Electro characters, I would say you can go for Kazuha. His damage buffing really significantly increases your team's potential and he's much easier to use than Sucrose. However, if you desperately need the Primo Gems and you already have Sucrose, maybe you can use Sucrose first instead in the meantime and wait for his next rerun. So, will you go for Nuvalek? Kazuha or neither? Do let me know down in the comment section below. If you'd like to see which standard banner character is the most worth to build, please click the video on the right. If you would like to see my other Genshin Impact videos, please click the playlist on the left. Once again, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!